Hi guys, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Lucky stargazers this weekend might be in for a real treat as the heightened solar activity has prompted the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, Space Weather Prediction Center to issue a geomagnetic storm watch for tonight through August 11th, coinciding more or less with the peak of the Perseid meteor shower that'll be around August 11th and before dawn on the um, on August 12th. You'll be able to see other uh, meteors shooting stars uh, before and after that time, but that's going to be the peak. If the predicted moderate G2, maybe even a G3 condition are met, auroras might be visible as low as New York and Idaho, according to NOAA. A geomagnetic storm starts Friday, tonight, and lasts into the weekend, so experts predict there may be a chance to see northern lights further down into the continent of the U.S. They are saying that Friday's night aurora borealis has a KP index of 6, meaning the lights will move even farther from the poles and become quite bright and active, according to NOAA. The coronal mass ejections that were released Wednesday are estimated to arrive on Earth between Friday night and Saturday morning, while the ejection that left Thursday may arrive Sunday night. However, it should be noted that predicting the exact time of CME's arrival is incredibly difficult as space weather, like the weather on Earth, is kind of fickle. Uh, yeah, it creates a lot of challenges to forecast. Here we have an image of two sunspot areas. The one that kicked off what may cause the auroras, hopefully we'll see them tonight, is 3777. And then we also got 3780. That one has been growing in size. These both are pretty much Earth directed. Keep in mind that even if a CME hits Earth, the impact on auroras depends on the magnetic field alignment within the CME. If the alignment allows it to connect with the Earth's magnetosphere, it could result in a spectacular northern light display. Here on Space Weather, we have the interplanetary magnetic field, what it's currently showing. Uh, this one's north. And then, yeah, this is what it's currently displaying. If Earth's magnetosphere closes the door on the CME, Aurora chasers might be left a disappointed. So we got to keep an eye on this. When checking space weather data from resources like Space Weather Live, pay close attention to the Interplanetary Magnetic Field, IMF, especially the BZ value, which indicates the north-south direction of the IMF. So the BZ would be this right here. I'll give you a link to this page so you can watch it. I think this is what it's currently at. On the Space Weather Live, it only shows right here the north direction. For a strong connection to the Earth's northward pointing magnetosphere, the BZ needs to be oriented southward according to Space Weather Live. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have to check this out more. The solar activity has been unusually busy in recent months as the sun's 11-year solar cycle approaches its anticipated peak between late of 2024 and early 2026, with sunspots expected to intensify over the next year and likely, likely triggering more geomagnetic storms. The culprits behind the issuance of the recent solar watch are three plumes of plasma and magnetic field known as coronal mass ejections, CMEs. Two of the CMEs erupted from the sun on August 7th, and one more was launched during yesterday's August 8th X-class flare, which is an X1.2. And all three are now barreling towards the Earth. The CMEs are predicted to arrive late tonight, and again by mid to late August 11th. 
according to NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center forecast discussion. So this is the three culprits. We got the X1.2, um, an M, oh, that's not it, right there, M3.89, and the M4.35, it looks like. So they are saying we're probably more likely going to have the G2, but it possibly could go as high as a G3. Um, so many of those in the Midwest could see the Northern Lights if they get the G, G3. If they do get the G3, um, it's not just going to be communication systems that are impacted and satellites, but also people's health. Yeah, the lights you might see could be visible even in Northern California. Now we know we're going to probably have the G2. And that's going to affect uh, things like setting off alarms for power systems. Could damage transformers. And it's definitely going to affect hi-fi radio um, signals. If it does get up to a G3, it could affect satellites, radio frequencies, voltage corrections may be needed on power systems, and then false alarms may also be triggered on some protected devices. I have those on my um, computers and different plugs throughout the house. Besides Northern California, you may see the Northern Lights in Washington State, Oregon, Illinois and along that track. Perhaps less well known are the impacts of solar events on human health. Your nervous system, heart rate, and blood pressure. Even if you don't see the new northern lights, yeah, you could have those effects more than healthy people. This new research has linked short-term increase in geomagnetic disturbances to a range of adverse health effects including cat cardiovascular disease, neurological disease, behavior diseases, and increased total mortality. According to a study from 2022 led by Zilla Baera, uh, it was published in Science of the Total Environment. Periods of intense solar activity and geomagnetic disturbances have been found to impact lung function in elderly men and are linked to higher risk of a atrial fibrillation event, potentially because they amplify the harmful effects of pollution in the atmosphere. High energy solar events also appear to be linked to social unrest, possibly because it can trigger increased anxiety and prompt people to act more impulsively act without thinking yeah taking more chances more car accidents more road rage after uh watching uh redacted last night yeah i wonder what's going to happen in chicago because chicago is um a boiling point there a boiling spot yeah there is so much going on in chicago yeah if you get a chance you should watch uh redacted when they talk about um, the civil unrest there in Chicago. And yeah, the things that the police have to deal with. It's the new gangs and the immigrants. And yeah, it's horrible. From what they were saying, uh, because of the Democratic National Convention, they're expecting a lot of problems. That's supposed to start on August 19th. Boy, hope there's no impact from the sun during that time period. Anyways. Uh, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. All links to these uh, documents will be down below if you can see them in the more information box below this video. Please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.